Hello, a very happy new year to you. You've probably been told that a bit, about a million times by everyone. So uh, apologies. Uh, hopefully this is the last time for you. Um, so uh, happy new year. Yeah, I um, hope you had a good one. Christmas for me was, uh, well, I was ill the whole time, so that wasn't good. But um, anyway, yeah, 2020, uh, full of, well, full of excitement. Actually, this year I'm going to be 40. Pretty cool. Um, is it cool? I hope it's cool. Uh, 40, I've uh, been married 10 years this year. And um, what else is there to look forward to? World War Three. that's the other one, isn't it? So anyway, um, it's actually a year since I've, start, since I've been doing these videos. Um, uh, one year ago today, I was sat in this car park at school and uh, saying how I had the leaf and I was going to get the e Nero. And in fact, that was the day that the order books had opened for it. So uh, what a year it's been. Um, I've done quite a few videos, not a massive amount actually, but quite a few videos. 1.7k, uh, yeah, I think, the subscribers count. So thank you very much to everyone. Um, and um, you've, uh, you've, well, you made Christmas a little bit easier because I was able to buy my niece, niece and nephews their uh, Christmas presents using the ad revenue, so bonus. So the reason I'm doing this video, um, apart from say Happy New Year, is that uh, yesterday was the first day back at school uh, for the new term and uh, you know what happened? Uh, the car wouldn't start. So that's right, it's, uh, it's kind of the worst nightmare, isn't it? I noticed that it was unlocked, um, which was a bit strange uh, and uh, there was nothing on. Normally you get like a little red flashing kind of key light once you get anywhere near the car on the dash. Um, and that didn't appear. So uh, I thought something was strange, pressed the button, nothing happened, completely dead. Um, and I had, I'd heard that uh, the 12 volt battery would cause problems uh, sometimes. So um, I kind of guessed that it had to be that really. So Unfortunately, we don't have jump leads at home and um, perhaps it's a good idea to get them because you forget, even if you've got an electric car, it still has a 12 volt battery. In fact, as far as I'm aware, they all do. The only exception will be the Tesla Model Y because they've, they've made it so that it doesn't need a 12 volt battery and they've re you know, changed the wiring completely. Because um, the 12 volt battery, how ridiculous is it? You've got this modern car and this ugly big lead battery in the, in the front. Anyway. So the 12 volt had died. Um, luckily, we live pretty much right next to some mechanics um, and we lament their existence most of the time because they rev diesel engines all the time outside the house, um, which drives us absolutely mad. But they're really nice guys and uh, they always help out if we have any issues. So um, they did offer to uh, let us drive away one of their cars, which was very good of them, but um, they, we didn't need it. They came over with, well, first of all, they came over with a, a kind of a, uh, it was sort of a very small charger. I took video of that. I didn't take video of very much else because we were panicked. We were late for school and it was a bit of a nightmare. So um, so they tried that, but it didn't work. And I think it probably didn't work because I imagine it just needed a little bit extra time. So uh, since that didn't work, they went over and they got a big box, um, the big normal kind of jump, uh, jump lead kind of battery looking thing, you know? Uh, I'm not good with the technical terms. So anyway, they brought that over, plugged that in, and then really it was a few seconds later that um, it uh, kicked into action. So I don't think the battery, the 12 volt, wouldn't have been down very much, but um, it was just down enough not to, well, certainly not, not to start and anything. So um, so then we got going, we got to school, and then uh, the teacher complained that we were late. and. Uh, I think my wife said vaffanculo, and uh, luckily she, uh, the teacher doesn't know Italian. Now, it's absolutely ridiculous that an electric car has a 12 volt battery, a 12 volt battery, as I said. You've got this enormous battery underneath, why the hell do you need another one? I believe the reason, and now Bjorn has done a really good video on this, um, which I will probably link to, um, talking about his MG. Um, I think the reason is that they try to save money where they can, and a lot of the components naturally link up to the 12 volt battery something like that. So all the obvious stuff like windscreen wipers and that kind of thing, they all use a 12 volt. That is, I, I believe that's what he said. My memory's awful, but I, I think that's the reason. So the problem is, it seems that this is a known issue with a lot of cars, especially Korean cars, apparently, that the, the Kias have it, the Kia e has it, Hyundai, 
Um, someone on Twitter was telling me that the Kia Soul had it as well. Um, some people were saying that l some first generation Leafs had the same issue as well, actually. So, no, it's not just Korea, is it? It's Japanese cars as well. <clears throat> so, uh, it clearly affects a lot of cars. Now, what made it worse in our case is I had OVMS plugged in. And OVMS is this box here, <clears throat> which is brilliant, and I love it. But every few days, I did used to get uh, a message on the dash to say something is using the 12 volt battery, um, you know, be aware that there's additional discharge on it. However, I hadn't had that message for, um, I hadn't had that message for a while actually, so I had, you know, so I wasn't worrying necessarily about it. Um, and ordinarily I would have gotten a message um, from the OVMS app to say that the battery is running down, but I would have been sleeping anyway, so I wouldn't have seen it. Um, and uh, on top of that, the notifications weren't working anyway. Um, but that's not the that's not OVMS's fault, I think. But anyway, um, so what used to happen sometimes? I used to get a message to say, yeah, the battery is low. I think it would say critically low, and then normally, like a minute later or something like that, it would say it was charged up again. So it's possible that the car would have naturally charged up the battery anyway charge up the 12 volt battery again and it's just possibly that happens during the night anyway and I'm not aware of it um, and it's just that uh, in the morning I uh, you know I just got to it at the wrong time so maybe that's a possibility um, because the car was unlocked and that's happened before and I've assumed that it was perhaps just I'd forgotten to lock the car so maybe that's happened several times before in fact and just during the night it kind of dies and then it, and it kind of comes on in the morning so there is an option in the menu here, uh, battery saver mode, um, which people on Twitter have told me about. So I'm going to try and find that and I'm going to see what it's set to. Um, other features. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's set already. Auxiliary battery saver plus, and it's already on. So um, this would be the point where I should be able to tell you what it does exactly, but... Um, not positive so let's look in the manual because that's something I don't do enough <clears throat> um, and yes people have complained on videos before because I don't actually bother looking in the manual and I just pretend I know something so what does it say battery battery recharge battery auxiliary okay here you go yeah so to, to activate or deactivate the auxiliary battery saver plus function when activated, the high voltage battery is used to keep the 12 volt battery charged. Well, it was enabled and it didn't work. Interesting, so here it says, auxiliary battery saver plus used while parked. This message is displayed when the auxiliary battery saver plus function has been completed. Um, well, I've never, I've never received that, um, that message, um, as far as I remember. Clearly that just didn't happen or it didn't happen quickly enough or whatever, or just that I was just, you know, it was just bad timing perhaps, that it just happened uh, in the morning. So, um, so what's the takeaway of all this? Well, clearly it's just happened this once. Um, if it happens again, then I'll start to worry a bit more, but it was quite cold in the night. I'm gonna say about four degrees. Um, we hadn't used it excessively over Christmas holidays anyway, and um, the battery itself, the, the proper big lithium one that lives underneath the car, that was charged to 70%, so it's not like that was particularly low or anything. Um, and yes, OVMS was plugged in and that obviously made it worse. Um, because it does discharge, it does discharge the, uh, the battery um, a little bit, although, you know, 12 volt, the 12 volt battery is still, that's quite a good capacity, I mean, it's enough to it's enough to run the heater, it's enough to run the uh, the entertainment system for quite a while, really, I mean, before you have to worry. So it, I think it's a bit odd that it did it did uh, go down that badly. As far as I'm aware, there were no interior lights left on or anything like that. Um, so, a bit of a mystery. I'll see what happens in the coming days. Um, but, I mean, because we use the car all the time, it's unlikely to happen again. Um, and I will plug OVMS back in. 
um, and um, I will see how that reports because that does report on the voltage of the 12 volt battery so I'll I'll plug that in and uh, and just see what happens with it because it'd be interesting to just you know when it's just parked there all day I mean, it'd be interesting to see how much it does drop down so I will do that anyway is it, this was just a quick video uh, to say all of that and um, was there anything else I wanted to mention just a big thank you really for everyone that's subscribed in this year of me doing videos I'll try and do more this year because last year was a bit um, I was a bit sporadic with them I will try and do more this year and I've got lots of cool ones planned um, I'm going to be keeping the e-Nero all year, so it's not like I'm going to have a change of car. Possibility of getting the... I'm not going to get the Honda e, am I? That's just not going to happen. There's a good chance we're going to move house out of the city, so... Yeah, there's... I can't... I can't get away with getting that, unfortunately. Um, so, that's unlikely. But um, I will be... Um, I will be test driving quite a few other cars, including the Soul, and I'm hoping I'll um, be able to test drive that soon. So, um... So anyway, I'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, do subscribe and like if you want to be notified of other videos. And uh, I have at least three coming that I've been promising for months. Um, one of them is about OVMS, which is brilliant despite the battery discharge issue, but uh, it is still brilliant. Uh, so I imagine that will be the next one. And of course, the Italian road trip, which um, I've just got to get finished, really. And just, uh, you know, there's not enough time in the day so uh but i will get it finished so thank you very much again um i think i probably thanked you about five times by now so i'll uh, i'll leave it now um i'll speak to you very soon bye for now